It's Ebony here, Colored Beautiful once again, and I am coming to you guys with an Iman-inspired look. Um, it's a smoky eye with a little edge to it, I guess. The hair I'm wearing, or wig I'm wearing, is called Peggy. She's from the Janet Collection. Towards the end of the video, I will talk more about her. Um, I am wearing contact lenses. Yes, I am. Um, for those of you who may comment, um... I thought it was a I thought it was a nice touch for the video. You know, I think Iman has brown eyes as well, so I put in brown contacts. All right, the the look is very simple, very easy. So, if you want to know how to get the look, continue watching. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking time to watch these videos. So, stay tuned for the action. Sweet action. Agabagabot. Is that what he says? I need some action. Okay, enough. All right, enough silliness. Here's a video. All right, so I'm going to start with the primer. All right, so now I'm going to use a NYX Jumbo Pencil in uh, dark brown as my base. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a soft black, and what I mean by soft black is a black that is not super pigmented, super dark. I'm going to start that way. You don't have to. If you have a heavy, a darker black, you can use that as long as you use a light hand. But just to start with, I'm going to use a softer black, and it's the black in this palette. Um, okay, so I'm just going to start right on that outer corner. Okay, and then I'm going to start and go in the inner corner. And take it around. Just like that. It's going to look crazy at first, but it'll come together. So I'm going to take a fluffier pointed brush. That one was pretty precise as you can see. And then I'm taking a more fluffy rounded brush. And I'm just going to um, and I'm just going to start blending that out. Alright now I'm going to take a loose pigment. This is a deep bronze color. It's called Charred. And um, this is a Make Me Over product, however, it's not on the website. I'm, I haven't put pigments on the site yet, but I really like this color. If you have a bronzy pigment, you can use that, or a bronzy eyeshadow, you can use that. And you'll see what color it is once I put it on, but that's what it looks like. Okay. And I'm going to just take that same brush and I'm going to apply it to the ball of my eye, the center of my eye. Alright, so after you have that applied to the center of the eye, I'm going to go back with a more I'm going to I'm going to go back with a more potent black and this is Nix's black. And I'm just going to add some of that to the perimeter of this look here. Okay. And the reason why I did it that way is so I would not over apply the black cuz I don't want it to be 
super dark. All right, I'm gonna take that rounded, small rounded brush, and I'm just gonna start blending and smoking it out. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to take a fluffier brush and I'm going to start blending that out as well just to get it nice and smoky so that it's not too harsh. Okay. We want it to be soft. I'm going to keep switching brushes and keep. Um, reapplying and blending out, reapplying and blending out so that it looks nice and smoky. Using that deep black, I'm going to go right underneath here with a light hand because you don't want it to be raccoon eyes either. Okay. Clean off the excess and I'm just going to softly blend that out. All right, so I'm gonna take that NYX black eyeshadow and I'm gonna take a brush like this, a really flat, small shader brush, dip the tip in there and I'm gonna take that up here on the lash line. I'm going to take that really pointed brush, this is the 843, and I'm going to just kind of blend blend that out some. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to line my waterline. so the eyes are done um, I've added my lashes and yeah that's about it I'm not really going to do a highlight I'm going to leave it as it is I'm just going to kind of clean up under my eyes with a little concealer here this is L'Oreal True Match Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take some powder and set underneath my eyes just a little bit. Alright, like I said for my blush, I'm going to use Golden Sunset and that is La Femme blush. It is, this is what it looks like. It is very, very golden flecked in there so it's really really pretty you can't really see it on camera but you see how gorgeous that is right and it has like flecks of gold in there so it's really nice and not big flecks either all right so just get that on the cheek there Alright, so for the lips, I'm going to go nude, you guys, because the eyes, I just want the attention to be on the eyes. It's really, really, really eccentric. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with Burnt Cocoa Lip Liner. Alright, so I'm going to use my nude lip gloss. Um, all 
Okay, so that's what that looks like. But I think I'm going to add this uh, matte Fifth Avenue by Jordana just to kind of, I don't know, change it up. I just feel like I need to add this. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so that is the look. So that's the face. Now let's move on to the hair. All right. So all right, so the wig I'm wearing is called Peggy from Janet Collection. Twinkies 2003 did a video on this wig probably over a year ago. And when I saw her wear this wig, I was like, I got to have it. So I got it. This is a color 430. And this is what she looks like on the box. Okay. I bought her from, where did I get her from? I bought her from Rocky Trading Company. Um, you know, I bought a whole bunch of wigs at one time. And I bought her there, but I'm sure you can find her at many different wig stores that sell Janet Collection. So um, check it out. I know uh, Sam's Beauty has a lot of great wigs, so check them out. And they ha have very reasonable prices. So they may have Peggy, so check them out. Check samsbeauty.com out, okay? So anyway, I'm going to brush her out. Um, this is a lace front wig, and it has lace in the back, actually. So they call it a full lace because it has a little strip of lace in the back. But it's really, it's not, okay? So I'm just going to brush her out. Now what I noticed about her is that she does kind of get tangled. She does tangle quite a bit. Um, so you have to, like, constantly, <laughs> you have to brush her out a lot because she does tangle all right um but she's really really pretty as you can see these curls are really nice right real nice okay Okay, now the parting area is, you, you don't, I'm just going to tell you, you don't really get any parting space. So if you're looking for par parting, so if you're looking for parting space, you don't really get any, okay? All right, so that's Peggy from the Janet Collection. I thought she was a perfect addition for this Iman-inspired look. Um, I will leave a link down below to show you what my um, inspiration was, a picture of Iman. It's not exactly the same, but it's just an inspiration, okay? So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon. Take care.